just got there. Just got up there. Hello, hello. Welcome to All About the Bass. I'm Lee uh, with this gorgeous, gorgeous little beauty from Epiphone, which we're going to talk to you about today. So thanks for joining us. And uh, please, before we start, if you give us a like, give us a subscribe, get in the hat to win some goodies. It's all good. It's all good. There's some lovely freebies going. So get in the hat. But it's lovely to talk about these, some new additions to Epiphone for this year. As you can see, this one's a little bit different, which we'll, we'll get onto. Uh, but and so is this. So this is the, the Epiphone Newport base, which, um, as you can probably see, I believe, like it's a short scale. So it's a 30.5 inch uh, scale length. So pretty much uh, full short scale. Um, to be fair, like my first experience with this, it actually feels shorter than that. So just we'll get onto that. But really, really dinky, but sounds massive. Um, as you can see, so it's on uh, classic designs from the new portal, which come out originally in 1961. So um, you might have seen this shape around before, but probably not in a little while, especially in their phone bases as a new product. So, so yeah, let me just run you through a couple of quick specs. So all mahogany, which is lovely. So you got mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, Indian laurel fingerboard, some lovely chunky pickups. I've only seen these here. So this is like the neck pickup is the Sidewinder, Epiphone Sidewinder, which you might have seen in the EBO, which is their SG, just that one pickup, another short scale they do. Lovely full warm neck pickup. And then completely opposite, we've got one of the Thunderbird Pros. So these are literally, again, what you'll find on the Thunderbirds, but that's in the bridge, a little bit chunkier. So you've got the best of both worlds there, which you can blend on that. Controls, nice and simple. Volume, blend with the pickups, and tone for overall. So, really nice and simple. Um, oh God, I mean, just my initial impression, this is the first time I've, I've held this thing, say, and it's a really, really easy thing to start with and just to play, you know, just to get on with out of the box. Um, it is like having a guitar, <laughs> if I should just say that. Like, his electric, it feels like electric guitar size to me, um, especially with the body, and I'm just so close to the nut. It's, it's nice, I'm, not, I'm used to being down here. Um, so everything's a lot more accessible, I feel, for myself. It looks wicked. Does it really? Oh, man, yeah, I'm pretty sold on the, on the look as well. And oh, while I'm talking about it, check out the other colours, because this is obviously a gorgeous yellow. There's, I think, three other colours, so check them out. It's a wicked orange that I just, I love this straight away. So, um, and not, while we're on it as well, not very much money. I want to say three three nine. Hey, I got it right. Like three three nine. So just over three hundred quid for. I mean, they, I mean, say it's nice to see, even though say it's a reissue from a long time ago, but something new on the scene and something that does something a bit different. You know, um, it really does go. I've got a, a vibe to it which I'm loving. So uh, even down to the knobs, like reminds me of an old yeah. stereo or like old radio, like. That's really cool. So um, yes, that's enough of me waffling. Let me play the thing. So volume up. I'm going to start with the front pickup. So this lovely sidewinder pickup. Uh, tone on. So this is what it sounds like. I nearly missed the word there. like nothing else like straight with just that one I'm sorry shut up stop talking half tone oh oh I should mention I've got a little teeny bit of reverb on here just to just to let you know but let me just take that off so you can hear uh, tone fully off straight away, that tone knob is not just making it warmer or brighter, that's actually changing the tone, like actually substantially, right, so like, that was like a micro movement, but. Right? They were all teeny little micro movements, and I hope you can hear that. Like, say, if you go straight back to off. It's just got its own thing going on. Anyway, sorry, I'll move on. So, uh, back pickup, right to here. Tone on, sounds like this. Nice. 
nice and pokey, nice and pokey. And just say tone off a little bit on that. Ah! I'm falling in love! Okay. It's quite nice as well. Short scale. You've got one of the slinkiest strings ever, right? We don't need to normally get to do that sort of stuff, right? Ah, okay, right. And both pickups together. So you've got a little little notch in here so you feel when you've got both on. And tone fully on, sounds like this. Okay, half tone. This really is a unique bass it sounds sound. Good. It's, it sounds so good. It sounds so different as well to me. To, to, to like you know, straight out of the out of the box, it's like it's its own thing. Um, anyway, so right, tone off, tone off. It's always got like a, can you feel that like filter thing? Yeah. It's almost like a, yeah, you're, you're playing with some sort of modulation with it, but. Well, okay. Well, that was a quick run through the tones, as it were. Um, I want it, Lee, I want it. Yeah, totally, totally. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, uh, there's obviously we get the, the the pleasure and, and the, the honour to play lots and lots of lovely things here. Um, but it, it's quite amazing when uh, something sticks out so much, you know, you, you get a nice surprise, which I'm definitely feeling right now. Um, I, I've played, say, with these pickup combinations in different bases. Say, I've, I know this from the EBO, this from the Thunderbird. Never played anything with it together that I know of. And I'm loving the, the, the scope you can get between the two of these. Um, again, it might say, you might be living here and go, oh, what is that? You know, that's just not for me at all. And I, I get it, but I think maybe I'm a jazz bass. I'm very biased on jazz basses because I've got a load of those. I love that sound, but I think, you know, if you're used to that kind of traditional sound and you want something completely different, obviously the scale of this is adding to it. So you've got a little bit more flexibility in giving the strings. As I was saying, you know, you can bend, you know, bend some strings if you want to get into that kind of technique. But I think with that and the pickup combination and the mahogany, obviously rich, bassy kind of wood, I think just, you know, perfect little combo for something different, I think. So, um, well, I'm gonna just keep gushing about this, I think, if I don't shut up. So, um, say, check out the other colors. You know, this is this is the thing it does. It's it's, a, it's an interesting little little, uh, little bass. Short scale as well, obviously we haven't touched on that too much, but obviously, if you are a smaller bill or you're you know, a child starting or someone slightly younger, uh, guitarists, of course, you know, if you're not, ah, you don't want to stretch all that, you know, out that way, then this might be something to look at. And especially, I think, if you're digging the old school kind of vibe with a twist, some sort of weird filter action going on, I think this might be something to look at. So, sweet, there is the Epiphone Newport for 2023. Hope you enjoy that. And give us two seconds and we'll swap over to this beauty over here. Hello, hello, we're back. We're back. And things have got a little bit more acoustic than they were. So, uh, this is the, the Epiphone brand new. So this El Capitan J200, sort of um, acoustic, electroacoustic bass guitar um, for all your campfire needs, as it were. Um, or something else. I mean, say, if you're after that acoustic bass sound, obviously, you know, they, they, there's a few on the market, a few of the other brands, big brands, have, have been uh, utilizing for the last few years, doing some different models, quite affordable. This is in that same sort of range, um, possibly a little bit higher than the, some of the others, are around sort of three, four hundred. This is just about six thirty, six forty. So um, 
a little bit higher, higher quality than some of the others that we've got in stock. Uh, but just running through a bit of the specs. So this is, again, lots of mahogany. So we've got uh, laminated back and sides mahogany. Uh, solid mahogany neck, uh, a solid Sika spruce top. You've got Indian laurel fingerboard again. Um, I think this is Indian laurel again. They, I'm sure they wouldn't change it out. I'm sure that's the same Indian laurel wood there. Um, maple, flame maple binding. I've just seen that as well. I don't know if you can see that. Whoa. Some beautiful, anyway, so all that like back and front and the neck using that that maple, sort of flame maple binding. Nice little touch. Um, and say so on the back, to show you the back, nice and nice and swish. This neck is actually really, really lovely. They're using like a satin finish that, this one is a full gloss, by the way, on that little short scale, but this has got like a nice kind of satin finish on the back of the neck, obviously full gloss on the on the main body. So yeah, so this, this won't take too long. Let me just show you what it does. You might think be thinking like, where's the volume? Where's the tone? There's nothing on here. They're tucked in under here, so they're hiding. So just underneath the sound hole, we've got a little tone on the left and a volume on the right. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn, as we had that, the volume up in the intro, just turn this off on the instrument so you, all you're gonna hear now is just straight through the, the Neumann mic here. So, this will pick up everything, so I might not make some mistakes here. idea of just you know if you're gonna be playing this straight acoustic just with you know some friends maybe on the acoustic guitar that's the sound you're gonna get and then we engage Fishman I think it's a Fishman pickup we've got in here it is it is and just turn that up and it's like we'll just show you the full tone just straight away so this is full tone and then we'll roll it off later so Turn off a little bit. And then tone fully off. This is nice, it's nice. I'm sure I'm warming to this as a, as I, as a player. Um, my initial, I'm gonna to be totally honest here, I haven't got much experience with playing acoustic basses like this, electro-acoustic basses. Um, if anything, it's more of an upright thing. Not that I've got much experience with that either, but if anything, I think acoustic bass, I think that first. Um, and then this, but say, I think they've got their, their own unique thing. Um, they've got quite like a nice natural compression to the sound when the full tone is on um, and you're going through the, through the speaker. It's got this kind of like squelchy kind of compressed press sound to it, which um, is obviously something unique to when you build an acoustic guitar to this size, this scale, um, using obviously bronze strings at this scale length as well and this thick, you're gonna get different, um, different tonalities obviously to nickel strings and, and solid basses. So, um, so hopefully, it's like if you're in the market, for an acoustic bass, it's a new one on the market, so you can test out against, say, Fenders and Alvarez and some other brands like that that have got some some other similarly priced basses. So, hopefully, this might be something that's up your street. And uh, and there are some other colours as well. If you if you fancy, you know, this is the natural. I think there's a Sunburst as well that's available. So check out the website. And if there's any other specs that I say that I might have missed, please check out there. Okay, cool. 
Thank you. That's all from me. I'm going to just play a little bit to, to see you out, but thanks for joining us. Please subscribe, like, watch another video. It's up here if you've got time. But otherwise, we'll see you soon for some more videos on Anthony TV. Thank you. Ta-ta. Ha, <laughs>